gorgeous thank you so much for watching my video and tuning in to see how I do my top knots so I have had a lot of questions about how I do my top knots in the videos and pictures that I post so I figured why not do a tutorial for you guys and just go ahead and show you my simple quick and easy top knot um, it's summertime here and I have two young kids and so my hair winds up being in a top knot anyways so it's kind of just my simple mom go-to look I guess now every single top knot that I do is different I can never seem to replicate the exact same top knot I think that's kind of the general funness of top knots so I'll kind of just figure I figured I would just show you how I would generally do it and then you guys can put your own spin on it so my hair is straight today um, I, I do it with curly hair straight hair and I feel like all um, most um, hair types can do a top knot so again this is just kind of a general top knot how I do it and it, again it's different every time so my hair is brushed we're good to go um, I kind of just start grabbing as if I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and kind of just grab and I comb my fingers through my hair as I'm going um, I don't generally like the like full sleek slicked back look it's just not my style but so I will make it a little bit messier I'm kind of I don't mind little loops or bumps or whatever going on in the front the front I usually just kind of believe as is okay so I pull it the ponytail just kind of as high as I want usually like crown of the head or just slightly higher however the higher you go if your hair is shorter the more fallback or fallout you're gonna have from your baby hairs so just keep that in mind too the higher you have it the more you're just gonna have to bobby pin at the very end so um i'll usually just kind of take a general band and kind of have it already wrapped around my fingers ready to go twist my hair kind of like that then kind of just wrap it around and kind of just start with a really messy bun okay and then I kind of just kind of just pull it make it kind of a loose and full and the general shape of what I'm feeling for the day then I will take one of these just little itty bitty ponytails that I use for my daughter's hair and kind of just finish my top knot off with that because um, it's smaller and tighter and going to keep that all in place and I know it's not going to go anywhere. So that's pretty much all I do with that. Now... As you can see, I've got some baby hairs that have started to fall out. And I'll just kind of twist and tuck those into the hair in the back. And kind of just bobby pin it so that it's not going to go anywhere. And I usually do two to three bobby pins depending on how high my hair is and I have fresh clean hair so if it's dirty I usually only need like one or two if it's fresh and I don't have hairspray in it already I'll do like two or three bobby pins kind of just depends so that's kind of just my general top knot super easy simple doesn't take very long um, I generally don't hairspray it. Um, I'll usually only hairspray the back 
um, for my little baby hairs just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. But other than that, I kind of just pull some out just to make it a little bit looser and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.